appreciate everybody coming out today to, uh, to put this out to the media. Um, we're holding this press release because we've recovered a lot of stolen property and uh, some of it we've identified and some of it we haven't. This is through a joint effort from Wiregrass law enforcement agencies across this area. Um, agencies include Barber County Sheriff's Office, Henry County Sheriff's Office, Abbeville Police Department, Dothan Police Department, Houston County Sheriff's Office, Ozark Police Department, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, Jackson County Sheriff's Office in Mariana, Florida, Butler County Sheriff's Office, Bullock County Sheriff's Office, and you follow Police Department. Um, we conducted a search warrant, actually search warrants on three different residents utilizing tag teams made up of Dothan PD, Houston County Sheriff's Office, Dale County Sheriff's Office, and um, this search warrant was conducted at Mary McLennan Road in Dale County in the Skipperville community. Um, we arrested at the time of that location one Marcus Antonio Grubbs, who was 32 years of age, and he was charged with possession of controlled substance, possession of marijuana, first degree, and distribution times two, and receiving stolen property. As you can see, we recovered quite a bit of stolen property, as well as drugs from the various residents. Other search warrants were conducted in the uh, Henry County as well, that's in reference to the same uh, ring, what we believe to be a ring of people who are going around in our community con committing burglaries. And, uh, we're still going through the process of trying to identify some of the victims in these cases as well as to be able to return um, the property to those individuals. The burglaries have taken place everywhere from Buck Butler County, Montgomery County to uh, possibly Jackson County, Florida. Uh, Mr. Grubb's bond was set at $120,000 and as of December the 7th, he had made that bond and had been released. Um, I'd just like to say how important it is for everyone to work together in cases like this because they are so widespread and the amount of victims you have in these cases. Uh, with law enforcement working together, you give closure to the victim and that's, that's basically what we're here to do. I'll entertain any questions y'all may have at this time.